Memorial Day, Cartoon Network kicks off Cartoon Summer with a whole day of your favorites. Join Tommy and Tara as they give us a sneak peek at everything new coming to Cartoon Network with their Summer 2005 kickoff special. Catch Scooby and the gang hanging 10 in Aloha Scooby-Doo. And it's finally here, the premiere of our newest show, The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. That's all day Memorial Day, Monday, May 30th, starting at 9.30, only on Cartoon Summer. This is Cartoon Network. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special. I'm Tara. And I'm Tommy. You may know us from our groundbreaking work on the hit programming Block Fridays. I'm sure they all know us, Tommy. But today, today is something else entirely. Today's the day you're going to plan out what you're going to be watching for the entire summer. We are here at the Santa Monica Pier in Santa Monica, California. Coming up in the next hour, we're going to get a sneak peek of some new episodes of our Cartoon Network favorites that no one has ever seen before. We're going to take a look at what's coming up this summer in Tsunami. Mm -hmm. Some of the new episodes Aaron at the Gang at Maguzi have for us. As well as, check this out, we're going to get the first look at not only one, but two brand new shows coming to Cartoon Network this summer. The Life and Times of Juniper Lee and Camp Laszlo. Ooh, this is going to be such a great day. Are you uh, ready to take it all in, Tommy? Ready, willing, pumped, and able, and pumped. Stick around, everybody. The Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special starts in just a second. <laughs> Boy, you weren't kidding. No, we've got so much to get out there to everybody, Tommy. Where should we start? Man, well, there's... No, you know what, we should, uh, okay. that's not going to work. I'm thinking we should start big and take a look at our first big hunk of new here for the summer. Juniper Lee? Mm-hmm. Juniper Lee. Yeah. Hi, I'm Judd Winnick. I'm the creator and the executive producer of The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. In a world full of monsters and demons, June is the only one who sees them. You can't stop the girl. In the world of Juniper Lee, the world is separated into two parts. There's the world of magic and the world of humanity. Juniper's job is to make sure that the world stay in balance, that the world of magic doesn't mess with people, and that people don't mess with the world of magic. You better run, Now, her job is to fight monsters, or sometimes protect monsters, sometimes fight people who are messing with monsters, and everything in between. Two white rule or what? Every time her little bracelet goes off, which is like a pager, she's got to leave her friends and stop the world from ending. I just knew that was going to happen. But she'd rather hang out with her friends and be a regular kid and go to school. Now, the only other people who know about this are her grandmother, Ama, who used to have this job before her. Hello? Where are you? I'm with my Monsters Without Partners group. We're doing extreme sports and, you know, bonding. Her little brother, Ray Ray. And Monroe. He's small and cute and sounds like he's Scottish. Hands off! All of you, hands off for pity's sake! June's got a small gaggle of friends. There's Ophelia, who's kind of this uh, punk rock girl. So I'm told. There is Jody, who likes to stay very, very clean. There's Roger, who's pretty weird. Oh, pull. There's Marcus, the boy she likes very much. He maybe likes her. We're not sure yet. We're still working that out. Marcus is a ninth degree babe with the great hair and the cute smile, but that doesn't change the fact that he's standing right behind me, right? She'll be fighting and dealing with everything from seven foot tall leprechauns, hamsters who breathe fire. Loki, the shapeshifter, the mummy, who's actually Skeeter, come and get it, who kind of sounds like a used car salesman. That's me, son. You call and I have answered. I'm hotter than a sumo wrestler in Miami Beach. <laughs> this is the life of Tanji Jr. for me. It's about fighting evil, it's about overcoming obstacles, and it's about finding out how hard you can actually punch a monster in the face and still look cute in a belly shirt. Dude. Yeah. Here's a clip from an episode coming up that you won't be on for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. This one's just between you and me, a special treat. I'm the boss. I'm not supposed to be doing this, though, so don't tell anyone. This one's just between you and me. So, check it out. Oh, that is just gross. I would like to go just one week without somebody stealing all the bodies out of a graveyard. Hey, you! Yeah, you, Zippy! Hold it right there! Oh, dawn of the Icky Dead, a zombie? Oh, man, I hate zombies! I said freeze! <laughs> You're just making this worse on yourself, pal! Got you now, Uncle Fester! Ow! Let me go, 
I'm late for work, I gotta punch in. What? Welcome, little lady, to Skeeter. Come and get it. It's Waffle and Rib Emporium. You gotta be kidding. No, ma'am. Come on in and take a gander at the finest eatery this bird will ever see. We're hotter than a tar roof in Georgia. That's hot. Uh, little help? Sorry, my bad. Yeah, don't worry about it. But you can't use zombies. They're an untapped workforce. And cheap. No health or dental plan. They're dead and they ain't got no teeth. Wow, I so bet I could do what Juniper does. Yeah, what makes you say that? Well, for one thing, I'm not afraid of monsters in the least. Interesting. Uh... Not even if they're, like, uh, much bigger than you? No, I say bring it on. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Yikes! <laughs> what a wimp. No one can kick monster butt like Juniper. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, everybody. Coming up next, and this is huge. We're gonna see what's new this summer on Toonami. Are you getting this? I hope you are getting this because it is very important. And it's all here on the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 Kickoff Special. These cabins have air conditioning, right? I'll check, sir. Our new stars will guide you to the hottest shows and movies all summer long. And announce the latest from CartoonNetwork.com. This summer's gonna be a scorcher, Slinkman. Very good, sir. I like that enthusiasm. It's Lupus and Slinkman's Cabin Fever all summer long. Weekdays from 10 to 4, only on Cartoon Summer. Hey, guys, look! A Why don't we give everyone a peek at something else first? Ooh, good idea. What are you thinking? I don't know. You pick some. Okay, uh... Oh, oh, let's take a look at what Foster's has coming up later this summer. What, over there? Yeah, this is so fun. Okay, in this episode, Blue learns a very important lesson. Now you try it. Okay. I want a cookie. Wait, are you being sarcastic or not? I'm being hungry. It is imperative that you know the proper silverware to use for each course. Let's start with an easy one. Soup. Yes, yes. Choose wisely. Oh, for Pete's sake, woman, that's the fine china. Okay, sarcasm lesson number 61. Making fun of others through fake compliments. Watch. Hey, Dino. Nice sweater. Yo, cowboy cow! Neat fur. Now you try. Hey, Duchess, you're so beautiful. I know. So nice of you to notice. No, I was being sarcastic. I meant you're ugly. Yes, and you're a super genius. This conversation is over. Cool! She called me a super genius! Hold on a second. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I'm Tara. This is Tommy. And wh what what were you saying? I was asking you if you have a quarter. Please, 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 please. You don't have a quarter? No, all I got's gone. That's it. All right, if I give you a quarter, will you tell everyone what's coming up this summer on Toonami? With the quarter? Show them. I, uh, what? Yes, all of it. With the quarter. Okay, challenging, but uh, it can be done. time. Fifteen seconds. You look great, Tom. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Ten seconds. Mamie, my mom, ma. Baby, bye, bo, boo, ba. Stray, stray, stay, stro, stru, stra. Tom, you're on in three, two, one. 
If you've been around the block with us, we've got some goodness like you've never seen before. If this is your first time at the party, buckle up. We're gonna blow your mind. That was a bit mosh, don't you think? Think so? Check this out. Toonami is proud to present our first original series, IGPX, coming to a TV near you this fall. Team Satomi takes on the world, and we're giving you a front row seat. most intense racing action ever in an animated series unlike any you've ever seen. IGPX, this fall, only Tsunami. Told ya, pretty great, huh? Impressive. You're telling me. We got people working around the clock all over the globe. It's gonna be huge. IGPX may be the best thing coming down the pipe, but we're not gonna make you wait all summer before rolling out the freshies. Time to take life to the max. We've got new episodes of the hit show Teen Titans. Uh, let's go. Brand new Justice League Unlimited. No one messes with the Justice League. And we've got the Dark Knight in lockdown in The Batman. Now we're talking. Booyah! <laughs> Look at all that. It's gonna be one great year. Showtime. Should be enough superheroes to satisfy anybody's late night cravings. Definitely. And since you've all been such good boys and girls, tonight we've got a special treat for you. That's right. Since we know how much you all love Teen Titans, we got a clip of an episode that's never been seen. Mother May I's baking a pie. Too bad the Titans are the main ingredient. Oh, Mother, too toasty. Not now, children. Mother's busy making things pretty. Besides, it'll all be over very soon. <laughs> Mother's cookies. Oh. Please, friends, you must believe me. A bump on the cranium has allowed me to see Mother for what she really is. You're gonna get in trouble. 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 Forgive me. You're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in What did you do that? Um, why am I in a giant pie? Why am I in a bunny suit? Why am I in a dress? Who's been redecorating my tower? Uh, perhaps I could explain later. Titans, go! Hope the Titans brought some milk. That's a lot of cookie soldier guys now we've got a justice league unlimited clip all queued up and it's for your eyes only lots of angry hawks and a team of superheroes check it out would you care to surrender now or shall i have craig or do something unseemly to your friend let her go and i'm yours drop your maze and we have a deal I always love the Hawk people. 
Well, this next could be to your liking as well. Yeah, the Batman. Nice to have the Dark Knight back. But let me tell you, I do not like fun houses. Through the looking glass, Batsy, where comedy is tragedy, black is white. <laughs> You're out of luck. <laughs> What do you think happened to the Joker's shoes? No idea. Watch and see, I guess. Sounds good. It's gonna be a great summer. And this is just the beginning. Stick around to see what other tricks we've got up our sleeve. But right now, let's just run back through all the goodness. Make sure you got it all. Take us out, big guy. New episodes. New shows. A whole new ballgame. All brought to you by your old friend, Tsunami. Another great day to be alive. Who loves you? And who do you love? Simply wonderful. Now stay tuned. There's more Tsunami to come. Stick around. Hey, wait a minute. Hello? No. Hey, what just happened, Tara? No, what? I was watching the superheroes. It was me. There was all kinds of stuff going on, and all of a sudden I stopped, and there was nothing. I couldn't see a thing. I don't know what's okay, going okay. on. Okay, okay. Are you trying to tell me that the, the timer ran out on the telescope? Is that... Well, I... Yeah. Okay, and you want to show everyone even more of what's coming up on Toonami this summer? Oh, well, yeah. I happen to know for a fact that there's a lot more new goody coming to Toonami that we didn't just see just then in this thing. Well, then it seems like you're going to have to find yourself another quarter. Wait a minute. You don't have another quarter? Nope. I gave you my last one. <sighs> So I suppose it's going to be up to me then, to find another one, so we can show them the rest of what's coming up. Think you can handle it? Well, I kind of have to. I can't leave them hanging like this. There's a lot more we got to show them. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special. Hey, everybody, I got two quarters. Oh, great, Tommy. So now you can use one to show everyone more of what's coming up this summer on Toonami, and then you can give me back the one you borrowed earlier. Or, and here's a better idea, why don't you take this one, mm -hmm. show them what's coming up in Tsunami, and then this one I keep. That is very generous of you, Tommy. I would love to show everybody. Now, now, now what do I do? Okay, step up, right to there. Just put the quarter in right here in this okay. little slot. And press go. You see it? Oh, yeah, uh, actually, I'm seeing you, Tommy. Can you move, please? <laughs> Sorry. We're back. Just headed back to the bridge for the big finale. Man, that's a lot of new stuff. But now, it's time for the icing on the cake. We've been running the game for quite some time now. And this summer, we're dropping some of the biggest cartoons of all time. Bring it on! Oh, yeah! This summer, the action game heats up. The deck is stacked. That was seriously cool. And Toonami's dealing straight aces. Biggest of all time, aren't you getting a little carried away? You heard the man, straight aces. Anyway, first up, this kid's got mad powers, even while wearing a dress. We've got more premiere episodes of Sash Bell. In this episode, Sash and Robno square off. Looks pretty bad, but Keo's got a trick up his sleeve. Check it out. Are you down to fighting with just that iron pole? Ah! Okay, Sash, ready, set, throw! Ah! Ah! Don't worry about it. It's just your helmet. We've got to finish off the Momoto. And Sash, the iron pole! Zakir! Hmm. All right! I needed a booster to increase the power of Zakir. So by waiting for him to build up energy in his own helmet, it amplified Zakir's power through the iron pole. You know, I wish we had a Momoto around here. Why? We could use him to help charge the clients or something. Tom, that sounds dangerous. He may be cute, but he's a little crazy. You think that's crazy? Try saying the title of our next premiere three times fast. I mean, even the big guy had a little trouble with this one. All across the kingdom of Margarita, people are losing their hair, literally. 
and in a place where your hairstyle means everything, only one man has what it takes to make the cut. Can Boba Bowl stop the fallout? Get ready for actions hair apparent. Boba Bo 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 Bo. This summer, it's all about the hair, baby. Bo 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 Bo. Strange, but oddly satisfying. Yeah, pretty insane, huh? Have you ever heard of a hair hunt? Well, anyway, next up, going to school is pretty tough. Not really, Tom. Well, it is when you're the class clown in a school full of ninjas. Take it away. In Hidden Leaf Village, the art of ninjutsu is a way of life. For centuries, peace and prosperity have ruled the land, but it wasn't always so. Local legend speaks of an evil spirit trapped within a young boy. His name? Naruto. Hated and feared by other students. He dreams of one day becoming Head Ninja. But getting there isn't gonna be easy, cause Leaf Village Academy is no ordinary school. Classes are tough, everyone's a bully, and any test could be your final exam. Fortunately, this class clown's inner demon is about to graduate. Naruto, coming this summer. Confront your enemies. That's some serious ninja action. No kidding. Glad I didn't have to go to that school. Tom, you didn't go to school at all. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> neither did my good pal Monkey D. Luffy. Who? Uh, Luffy. Who needs school when you're a pirate and can punch a guy in the head from 300 yards away? Observe. Monster! Reminds me, Usa. I owe you, don't I? <laughs> All that time that you hit me, remember? Oh no, Usa. Am I correct, Usa? You used all your strength, right? Finally, what we've all been waiting for, the Coupe de Grassi. This November, the world premiere of the first Toonami original, IGPS. That looks incredible. Pretty sweet, huh? I haven't been this excited since my last upgrade. Well, there you have it. A fall lineup so fresh, it'll make you a believer. But before we go, time to deliver one last taste. This summer, all the action you can handle and more. New shows, new heroes, same fresh flavor. You know what time it is. Oh, gotta go. Only Toonami. Wow, Tommy, that was amazing. I know, right? <laughs> Wait, which part? Well, um, all the new episodes and shows coming up on Toonami this summer, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I thought you meant how far you could get with a quarter in this thing. Oh, oh, you mean all the way to outer space? Well, that too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to give me one of these babies. Or you could just watch Tsunami every Saturday this summer. That might be easier. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what should we do next? Well, I'm thinking after the break, we should hit the boardwalk, and there we can take a peek at some of the new episodes of Billy and Mandy and KND we've got coming up. Let me think about it. Okay, sounds good. All right, you're watching the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special. Let's go. Yeah. 2005 kickoff special. I'm Tommy. And I'm Tara. And today we're here at the fantastic Santa Monica Pier enjoying the beginning of summer. And I'm using this melon of mine to memorize all the new stuff that we got coming up. My brain's like a hard drive. Go quite tough to touch. Okay, uh, Tommy, hey, what should we do next? 
Well, we could go now. Ooh, we should, we should do that. Ooh, ooh. There's a photo booth. You know what? Before we show more new stuff, why don't we get our pictures taken? I'm not sure that's a photo booth, Tara. Of course it is. What else would it be? Just look at the screen. Come on, come on. Is it rolling, Thinkman? It is, sir, if you'll just... Ah, very well. Greetings, Bean Scouts and future campers. If I, I may, sir, I don't think you're All right, there. all right. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. The name's Scoutmaster Lumpus, not Lumpus. Are we clear? I remember, sir. Charming, charming. So, you're a Bean Scout looking for a camp that will help you build character, new skill sets, and friendships that will last a lifetime. Well, look no further than Camp Kidney. Situated in some of the most beautiful country you're ever likely to see, our recreation regimen includes a diverse slate of activities, such as... You're doing beautifully, sir. Uh -huh. Activities like arts and handicrafts, athletic competition to challenge the body and spirit. Frequent opportunities for social development with the Squirrel Scouts of neighboring Acorn Flats. And swimming in our crystal clear lake. Totally devoid of any waterborne parasites, I assure you. Are you sure you should try it? Our knowledgeable support staff is of the highest caliber. Our facilities second to none. And ooh, the grub. It's always sunny and clear at Camp Kidney. Sir, legally, we can't... Blankman! Yes, sir. So, what are you waiting for? It's camp. It's good for you. Get moving! <laughs> to Camp Kidney. All right, cut that out again, I'm here. I need a nap. Very professional, sir. I think we'll get quite a response. See, I told you. Okay, so it wasn't a photo booth like it said it was, but doesn't Camp Lazlo look like fun? Makes me want to go camp. Yeah. Tents, campfires, s'mores, bears. No, wait, bears are dangerous. No bears. S'mores. Okay, you, you, you said that already. <laughs> some more s'mores, then? Oh, well, that's the name. Oh, oh, guess what? We're going to get to see some more of Camp Lazlo before we're finished today. But we should really keep moving if we're yes. still going to show them everything that's coming up. What should we uh, tell them about now? Hmm, well, I happen to know that this summer we're going to have a lot of brand new episodes of The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Hmm. How about them apples? The deuce, you say? I don't know what that means, but check this out. Later this summer, Erwin will be haunted by an evil duck with a very special trick. Come on, dude! What's up, my main man? You've been awful quiddity quiet back there. This duck is kind of creeping me out, Dad. What duck, dude? Yo. Don't be bugging, dude. Yo. Dude! Yo! Dude! Yo! Enough! Grandmama does not want to hear any more back sass out of you. Word. Sorry, Grandmama. <gasps> Did you just break wind in front of your grandmama? That wasn't me, yo. It was the... Oh, baby. Oh, that is just nasty. Dang. Please open up a window or something. Dude. Baby, why you gotta be nasty? Oh, goodness, someone please open a window and vent this nastiness out. Dude! It's not me, yo! <laughs> well, I think someone won't go to the baseball game if they keep lying. I did it! It was all me! I popped the fluffy! I played the tushy trumpet! I made a hand blast! Oh, oh! It says here that new episodes of Billy and Mandy will hit Cartoon Network later this summer. <laughs> Do you think your fortune will come true? Well, I mean, I guarantee it. Would we be here getting everyone all excited if it wasn't going to happen? You have a point. Hey, what are my lucky numbers? Hey, 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 don't you mean numbers? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Let me guess. One, two, three, four, and five. Amazing, huh? <laughs> Just in time to give everyone a sneak peek of an upcoming episode of Codename Kids Next Door. No number three gave me this clip herself. Ooh. We got it. Okay. In this episode, yeah, well, we finally I, find out yeah, what happens yeah. when a KNZ <laughs> operative outgrows being no, a kid. When we went to the oh, this is not good. Ah, oh, what are you talking about? He's just talking to some super cute girl. Why would that be a problem? Man, wait a minute. You're not jealous, are you? Are you? Ah! Don't worry. It's just a stupid baby crush anyway. It's not like a hottie like him could ever fall for Abby. Number one, <laughs> copy! <laughs> Kids 
next door, underpound. Useful neighborhood devices, excellent reconfiguration produces outrageously unstoppable noisy destructiveness. Okay, in honor of number three sneaking us that new footage, we're gonna try to win a prize to add to her collection. You ready, Tommy? You're going down. Ready? And go! Number three's gonna love this. You gotta love it when someone from the actual show helps us sneak a look at clips that no one has ever seen before. And we got a lot more sneakity peekity to do, don't we? Yeah, we've got so much new stuff coming up this summer on Cartoon Network. You are not even gonna believe it. Okay, everybody, in just a few, we're gonna take a look at what new episodes Maguzi's got hitting this summer on the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 Kickoff Special. This summer, Scoutmaster Lupus and his Day like today? Oh, I know. The ocean, the sun, the breeze. I am so glad that summer is finally here. Oh, 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 so how are you doing with memorizing all that that new stuff we talked about? <laughs> Tear up this brain, this one right here, Yeah. is a finely tuned machine. Oh. Information goes in, it's processed and retained. I will not disappoint in my quest to memorize. Oh, so then you've got it. <laughs> I've got it all right. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, this, this is a... Uh, a beacon that Erin and the Maguzi gang gave me. She said she's sending it out to them. We're ready to show everyone what new episodes they've got coming up. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. Can I try it? Well, there's no hook, so you can't hurt yourself. So, yeah, go ahead. Thanks. And I just... You just cast it out there. Just cast it? Yep. I'm going to go over here for that. That's... Behind you. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. didn't even get it into the water. I know, I know, but you know, you got you got an A plus for effort. Yeah? You do. Can I can I help you out with this? Would you mind? Okay. Aaron's <laughs> probably wondering where we are. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just uh just watch this. Oh. That's how it's done, my friend. Whoa! show ya. <laughs> well, yo, back away from the remote. I don't think you guys are quite ready for each other. Right, Remo? We still need to show you how everything works around here, huh? Okay, then. This summer, you'll learn just how cool it is to be part of the Goozy gang. It's all about new stuff, like you. This summer is the summer of yo. In honor of your newness, we're going to have new to the goose episodes of Teen Titans. Here's a little sneak peek to wet your whistle. Put down the tanker, you big glob of goo. you won.
something worse than goo. Sneeze goo. Ugh, gross. Let's just finish this. Azeroth, Metreon, Xanathos! Nice work, Raven. Who wants pizza? The Titan for the best. And guess what? Cold Lyoko is coming back to us. <laughs> we haven't seen it in a while, so it's going to be awesome. And we're starting from the top for those of us that haven't seen it yet. Then it's on to a brand new season in September. Check it out. Uh, sorry to interrupt your fascinating conversation, but it looks like Xana has spotted you. There's something headed your way. But what's really weird is I... I can't tell what it is. Hey, what's that? I don't know, but it looks like trouble, big time. I've never seen a monster like that one before. Vanna must have just created it. In any case, it says here that it's got more life points than the others. <gasps> On my signal. I'll go first. And I'm gonna keep it busy. Now! <laughs> Activated tower not far away from you. Direction north by northwest. Get out of there and come and meet me, but hurry up. Hey, you overgrown spider. Looking for me? <laughs> I'm telling you, Tara, now that it's getting hot, I think Aaron's got the right idea. Oh, you mean by uh, hanging out in the water where it's cool? Yeah, both meetings. Both meetings? Yeah, I mean, it's cool because it's underwater, and it's cool because of those new fantastic episodes they got coming up. Oh, both meetings. Got it. You know, you know what? You look like you're starting to get a little red. Why don't we uh, get you some shade? Okay, if I have to. But only if we get to show everyone even more new stuff coming up this summer. Oh, we will. After the break, we're going to take a peek at one of the new episodes of Hi Hi Puffy on Yumi. On the way as well is a never-seen-before inside look at another huge new series called Camp Laszlo. You're going to love this stuff. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. I'm Christmas. You're watching the Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special. Hey, wait up. a hat to uh, keep the sun out, you know? Okay. I'll buy one if you buy one. Yeah. I do. Stop to the bar, yeah. Wow, you look good. Thanks. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> what can I say? We wear hats and we wear them well. No, we're just extremely, extremely, extremely extremely fashionable people. You know, it reminds me of a couple girls I know. Oh, is one of them named Ami? 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And is the other one named Yumi? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And are they the stars of the show Hi, Hi, Puffy, I'm Yumi, which has new episodes premiering this summer? Well, Tara, I could say no, however, I'd be lying. Let's get lousy with new episodes like this one. In this episode, Ami and Yumi learn that Kaz has a special talent. What are you Watch doing? this. Actually, I'm writing a song. It's called French Fry. You're a songwriter? Kaz, that's so cute. Well, it's just sort of a hobby. You see? Kaz, I had no idea. Would you play one of your songs for us? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't. I couldn't. Well... Okay. Hello, Ami and Yumi. Are you ready to rock and roll? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his tuxedo. If he roars, then you touch your toes. And then something about bananas here. And then, hmm. Oh, yeah. Woo-ha! Solo! Bye-bye, <laughs> boo. Where are you going? I wasn't. I just, I mean, that's what they do. Oh, right. Okay. Now it's time for the last big news of the day. Camp Laszlo? That's right. It's coming here to Cartoon Network on July 8th. That seems like forever from now. July 8th? That's like five, wait, 30 days has to come. That's like forever from now. Yeah, I know. I think we should give everyone a big look before then. You know what? We could get in trouble showing everyone this far out, but I think we should. All right. It's too good not to show them. Oh, I am with you. Okay, everybody, your first peek at Camp Laszlo. I love that we're doing this. I feel so lucky. I know, breaking the rules. Oh, what's my... Okay. I'm Joe. <laughs> so what do I say? Um, I just cracked my knuckle. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe Murray, the creator of Camp Laszlo. Attention campers, attention campers, it's time for Camp Laszlo. Camp Laszlo centers around a rebellious monkey and a very structured scout camp. Voila! Fire! Who finds an optimistic angle to anything that happens. Stop that! That tickles! <laughs> He's joined by an Indian elephant who is incredibly phobic of anything that slithers or crawls. Mother of glory! And a, an albino pygmy rhino who uh, basically got his education from box tops on cereals. Well, the fuzzy. <laughs> the three of them share a cabin and basically turn the camp upside down with their version of scouting. My guns are killing me! There's also a scoutmaster named Lumpus. Uh, that's Lumpus. Who's a moose. And his assistant, Slinkman. Slinkman! Oh, reporting for duty, sir. Who is a banana slug. <laughs> if you want to watch a really crazy, wacky cartoon that you're going to tell your friends about tomorrow, watch Camp Laszlo. It'll be a real treat for you. <laughs> Easy, Loompers. They're just bean scouts. Just for you, I snuck into the Camp Laszlo editing room and pulled out this clip that nobody else has seen before. Hey, Laszlo. Yeah, Raj? Did you see that big metal thing that Loompus had out there in the field? I sure did, Raj. What do you think that was? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah. He's got a cannon. Oh, a cannon. What's it pointing at? Uh... Moo, moo, the moon. Why would he point a cannon at the moon? Lumpus wants to blow up the moon. Blow up the moon. What? The light from the moon. It's too bright for lights out. He cannot do that. We love the moon. Clammy, we have to save the moon. Almost time. Any minute now, I will see my precious comet. Scoutmaster Lumpus, please don't shoot the moon. What? Save the moon! Save the moon! Don't take our life! Don't shoot the moon! We're looking for the Luna! Don't shoot the moon! We're looking for the Luna! What is wrong with these bean scouts? Wow, that was so worth it. Uh-huh, I don't care if we get in trouble for showing that much of Camp Laszlo so early. July 8th feels like a long time away. Yeah, well, we're living on the edge, Tara. Mm -hmm. 
Edge livers? Edge livers. Cool. Now, Tommy, at the beginning of the special, you said you were going to figure out some way to memorize all the new stuff that we shared with everybody here on our Cartoon Network Summer 2005 kickoff special. I know, and it was a lot of stuff. So, did you, you know, memorize it all? Well, <laughs> let me answer your question by saying this. Tommy, I, I think that song is going to be stuck in everyone's head all summer. And my work here is done. It's a good way to remember all the new stuff we snuck to everybody today. Mm -hmm. Sneaked? Is it sneaked or snuck? I think um, either is acceptable. Okay, now I had a lot of fun with you here today, Tommy. And I you, Tara, and I you. Now, before I kick your butt at the old mini golf, why don't you tell everyone what's coming up next? Okay, coming up next, and this is huge. You've been hearing about it for weeks now, and it is finally here. It's the first episode of our newest series, The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. This is it, everybody. Is this a great day or what? This is going to be so kick butt. Okay, that's right. Coming up next is the story of how Juniper starts her career of battling baddies. And then when will her show usually be on after today? Well, we'll be able to see new episodes every Sunday at 7.30 before Totally Spies and Atomic Betty. I am so there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, here you go. The first episode of The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. Hey, wait up. Oh, I think I almost got it. I think I got it. Oh, this Great. is This has been a Cartoon Moxie video. T&W Studios.